Let me introduce you to the most beautiful pair of high heels you've ever seen. This is a pair of Sophia Webster high heels and I adore them. I have that since like six months. And to be honest, it's not too easy to pair them because there's still quite a lot of colors going on. And so that I have something to wear with it, I bought this cute little handbag, some curly colors and some glitter rhinestones. And we're going to create the perfect bag for the perfect shoe. So to start off, I definitely need to clean the surface, make sure it's clean and dust free. Let's go. Okay, now I've prepared everything. So let's start with cleaning up the bag. Now I want to make these zebra stripes here and here, but at first just in white so that I can add the color on top because it seems like they have like a white base underneath. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so now I finished the white part here underneath and now on top I kind of want to add like a butterfly wing in the same effect as underneath. Also in white at first and then we can continue with the colors. Here it is. Okay, so far it looks more like a skeleton rather than a zebra pattern. But I hope this will look different once we have it colored. Okay, day two. Let's continue. Day three. This is what I did so far. This part is basically finished. We just need to add the glitter. And then on top here, I'm missing the red, yellow, and orange layers. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so now we're basically done with that. Now I also just add like a little acrylic finisher. Okay, now day four, we're done with coloring everything and it's finished and now let's just add the glitter. I hopefully have one in each color, we're going to find out. Look how cool this looks, I really like it. Now I still need to finish this and then we're done. And now I'm done, let's try it on with the shoes. Ta -da 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 -da. Okay, so here is the final look. I think from the side, you can definitely see it much better. The, the back and the shoes are supposed to match. Hopefully they do. I think the back came out quite good. I like all the sparkling. But I would also kind of say that this one kind of is in general a little bit bigger. I think it would have looked even closer to the shoes if the bag was as well a little bit smaller. I want to give the bag a 9 out of 10. I think a 10 would have been perfect if the bag was a little bit smaller. So it looks really cool. I love it. It's so fun. And now I finally have at least something to pair the shoes with, which is matching really good. So happy with that. And if you watched till here, be sure to comment this emoji. And if you like sparkling objects like this, be sure to also watch my recent O Poly haul where I tried a lot of festive dresses.